All right, here we have our Florida strawberry, pecan, and Tupelo honey salad, mm. and it's looking good. It is looking good, and we're going to show you how to do it. All right, Chad, first thing we're going to do to make our salad today, start with a vinaigrette. Let's do it. All right, so our vinaigrette, the, some of the main flavors in here is going to be the wonderful honey, that Tupelo honey. I know you know about that. Yes, this is considered some of the best honey, not mm. in Florida, but in the world. So we're going to start with that. Ooh. It's going to go right in. We got our nice little stainless steel bowl here and a little whip because we're going to emulsify. You know, the great thing about this honey is it doesn't crystallize like other honeys. Right. It's so pure. It's the good there. stuff. Let me get a hit there. There you go. Tupelo hit. Mmm. All right, so along with the honey, we're going to add a little Florida natural sugar. So we're going honey and sugar. Honey and sugar. A little bit in there. We got to get our sweet, and then we're going to balance it with our tart and our savory. So we want to definitely add a little bit of acid. Okay. So we're going to do a little bit of lemon juice. Why are you rolling it? Ah, very good question. The reason I roll the lemon on the board like this is kind of loosen up the juices inside. Sometimes lemons can be very hard and they have their segments that hold all the juice. So by rolling it, it loosens it up. So when it's time to squeeze it, ah. the juice should come right out. Gosh. Watch the juice in that your thing, eye. Whatever you did works. So we're going to squeeze a little lemon juice in there. Yum, yum, All right, yum. next we're going to add our vinegar. It's a little okay. cider vinegar. It's going to give it some good flavor. All right, so we're going to have you whisk. And the whole thing about a vinaigrette is the emulsification. So it's basically bringing that oil and the water together as one. You want this on liquefy or pulse? or what Yeah, do you I want this on high speed turbo. High speed. And then I'm going to slowly drizzle this as you go. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to start a fire here with this friction here. Don't start a fire. And of course, we want to season okay. everything, a little pinch of salt. And you pre-season everything, right? Of, that's right. You even pre-season your bait. Yeah, I do. I Took do. this guy fishing, pre-season his shrimp before he put it in the water. That's a true chef right there. That's right. Okay, we're going to drizzle slowly. So you're looking for that salad dressing consistency here. Absolutely, yeah. We, want, we don't want to see little droplets of uh, oil hanging out in the vinegar and the other liquids. We want those all to come together as one thing. You want true emulsification. That's it. I think we're emulsified here. I think so. It looks okay. good. So this vinaigrette is a great base. You know, pretty much from here you can make any other kind of vinaigrette. So we have our vinaigrette. Got our vinaigrette made. What's now next, we need chef? to start assembling our salad. We have these great strawberries here. Do you guys know that Florida produces pretty much all the strawberries during the winter months and they go all over the country for people to enjoy. So we produce a lot of strawberries in Florida. When you go to rinse them, you only want to rinse what you're going to use right before you use it. Otherwise, they can soak up that water and become soggy. So, so I didn't know that. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that either. Yeah. All right, so I'm just slicing up a few strawberries here. And there's a bunch of different ways you can cut them, but I kind of like to slice them. And OK, now that we've got our strawberries prepped, we're going to go ahead and assemble our salad. I've got a couple nice different greens here. I've got some romaine hearts. Okay. And I've got a little arugula. Arugula is a great green. It's a little bitey, a little spicy almost. It's going to add some good texture and depth to our salad. All right, so I'm just going to layer a few of these romaine heads like this on the salad. I'm going to take some of my arugula here. Arugula. Wow. A little bunch. We've got some great Florida avocado here. This is another great Florida commodity. It's going to add some nice buttery texture. And yeah. avocado contains that good fats that we need to put in our body. Good deal. So we're going to add just a little bit of this in here. You guys like avocados? You've seen those big Florida avocados growing around Florida? Amazing. OK, we got our avocados on. And now we'll just kind of arrange some of our strawberries here. Mm. You're going kind of fan method there, so you cut yeah, them. Yeah, a little bit, of, little bit kinda, of fan. You just kind of fan them out a little like bit. It's all kinds of different ways you could do it. And one of our last ingredients is going to give Ooh. us some really good texture also are these Florida pecans. Pecan? Pecan. Or pecan. You can. <laughs> Give it a try. Oh. oh dang it, man. So I'm just going to kind of place these around the salad a little bit. You know, these are a great alternative for maybe croutons or something. Everybody yeah. likes that little crunch in their salad. So this is going to give it that crunch. Can I drizzle? You want to drizzle? Are you ready for a drizzle? I'm going to let you drizz. OK, here we go. You ready for a drizzle? Drizzle. You guys ready for a drizzle? Yes. Here we go. We're going drizzle. All right. I'm going outer drizzle. I'm going to work my way in. Oh, man, that looks great, chef. Absolutely There we gorgeous. have it. I could smell that vinaigrette. And mm. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Ready to dig in? I'm ready, man. I'm All tired right. of talking about it. I'm ready to do it. 